am not feeling the greatest today but it is recycling so i want to clean up and kind of un pack all of the stuff that we ordered from ikea do you guys also have that space in your home where all of your recycling goes before you take it out into the curb ours is just right in front of the kitchen right in front of the island and yeah i'm gonna try to get as much of that done as possible so that it just isn't cluttering up the house <laughs> apart and there isn't a light bulb so i think i need to go buy light bulbs before i continue on with this thing but more importantly i also need to keep it off of the ground because i know my dog is going to think this is like a ball he can play with so i need to find out where to put this So last vlog you guys saw as I visited my parents and when I got there my mom asked me to troubleshoot her computer. So the way that she likes to use it is to use the handwriting input in order to put in traditional Chinese characters because that's just how she likes to navigate. And on her current Chromebook it's actually a terrible experience. I'm gonna get some footage to show you guys what it looks like but as a UX, as a product designer, I really just couldn't live with that. For a very long time, I have been trying to convince my parents to let me get them a new computer, but they always say no. I don't know if you guys have parents like mine, but they just have a really hard time accepting things or accepting gifts. So I think the real solution in these kind of cases is just to do it for them anyways. So let me show you what I got my mom. Ta -da! So this is a MacBook Air. I got her the 50 15 inch so that she can really use that space to browse the web and she really likes to watch YouTube, movies, and TV dramas. I'm really excited to be able to give this to her tomorrow but I do want to unbox it and get it all set up for her so that she can start using it right away. I filmed a little unboxing for Instagram and TikTok so I'll just put it here. So to make sure that she can jump in right away and start using the MacBook Air, one thing I'm going to do is insert this handwriting feature for her keyboard. I'm also going to change the double click or right click selection because on default on Mac it is set to clicking with two fingers on the trackpad and that's really weird. I'm also going to download Chrome for her because that is her favorite browser. And the last thing I'm going to do is remove some of the apps that they have in the taskbar by default because she really just wants to use Chrome and I don't want to overload her with all these extra apps that she's most likely not going to use. I just finished setting up the computer right now. I'm just giving it this final kind of charge so that it'll be ready for my mom tomorrow i think just thinking about it like i'm really so grateful that i'm able to do this kind of stuff for her like i've always felt that my parents have never really been open with my brother and i if they were struggling about things like when we were kids and like you know we weren't the most well off but they always tried their best and they tried their best to always like hide any struggles or stress from us because they didn't want us to have to worry about that so it's important for me that I'm able to take these opportunities to try to do something and like kind of pay them back for all that they've done for myself and yeah it's just like it's nice to get a chance to do something like this you know Way I'm begging you to stay. And 
if I could show you, I'd hope you could see all the possibilities. There could be a place for you and me. And under the stars, you pack up your car. Cause you're going I just put the cookies in the oven. So I don't really know what came over me about wanting to make cookies tonight. I think there's definitely a part of it that's just like, you know, felt like I'm giving my mom her MacBook tomorrow and then <laughs> what am I getting my dad? I, I'm hoping that my mom will just share the MacBook if my dad ever asks. Hi, baby. We have a visitor. You can see him. Hi, Mr. Ben. We're just waiting for our cookies to finish baking. Um, I made shortbread cookies tonight because it is my dad's favorite and also my husband really likes them so I made sure to do a double batch and then tomorrow I'm going to give them to my parents. Okay. Cookies are just about ready to come out. It actually smells like a stick of butter in here. So let's open it up. Here are the cookies. I'm going to let them cool a bit first and then cut them up into probably like little rectangles and then package them up. I got too excited and I started eating them and then I stopped and I forgot to film. Alright, boom! <laughs> This might be the best thing I have ever made in my life. Um, how do I even start this? I'll just show you. Every week, the design team at the company I work for has a cool down. So there's like 30 minutes on Fridays where we kind of hang out, talk about the work that we did maybe, or just use like games or exercises to get to know each other better. Kind of like just the way to cool down from the week of work that we just had. And the one today, the prompt was to create a PowerPoint about something that you feel very passionately about. Basically one of those like TikTok viral, Instagram kind of PowerPoint nights that you see a bunch of groups of friends having. This is kind of the same thing. So I thought, why not talk about something that started when I was very young and how much I love the Mummy franchise. When I was growing up, I was definitely that ancient Egypt obsessed kid back in the day which explains a lot about just like what I like and by that I really just mean Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> I decided instead to talk about the Mummy franchise and why I made it so I made my PowerPoint about why I liked it. So this is definitely not the first time I thought about this but it is the first time that I put it into a PowerPoint. I feel pretty good about sharing this to the company because I feel like I've made a lot of really solid points. So yeah, that's what I was doing for the last 20 minutes. Um, I'm pretty excited that I get to talk about this. Looking forward to the cool down that we have soon. Another lazy afternoon The clouds covered in gray Third coffee of the day Almost fell asleep on soon I yawn at the display Third meeting of the day But I can hear raindrops stepping The one delay on the It's like, oh, it's too it's like oh. they're calling out Don't lose your youth Cause I can stay inside and <laughs> I go inside all night Today just a little less mundane Oh, I can stay inside and I go inside all
just might say Put on my rain boots, my favorite chiffon dress I don't care today what the neighbors might say Cause I can stay inside and Take a win inside Oh, make a today just a little less mundane Oh, I can stay inside and Type away inside Oh, take today Oh, dancing in the rain yeah. Hi, today is a big deal. It's a day I've been waiting for for quite a long time, but I'm going to be replacing the bookshelf that I have behind me. All of the bookshelves that I have behind me are from Ikea, but the issue is that two of them are from Ikea within the past year or so, and the other one, the one that I am gesturing to right here, that one is something that my parents brought from Ikea maybe a decade or more ago. It is time to finally replace it. So that means taking down everything that I have on it, building the new one, moving the old one out, and re-putting everything back on. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I still have to play this. <laughs> It has been 10 minutes since I brought the bookcase into the office and I just have not done anything. I've been sitting on my chair being so tired, my lower back hurts, and I was planning on trying to reorganize everything and like putting everything in a different place on the shelf, but at this point I'm pretty tired so I think I'll just put things where they were originally and then see how I feel about it later. Are you enjoying the lighting change? Because it's been hours since I started filming this. There are parts of it that I really like, but there are also parts that I'm just not really liking. And I think a big portion of this is probably the ones that I haven't unboxed yet. And because of how tall these are that I don't have like a middle shelf in the sections. But because of that, the shelves look really disproportionate and it's just like a big empty space there and I don't think I like it too much. Other than that, I think I like it. It does feel a little full compared to my other shelves and I think I will probably need to change it somehow so it has that room to breathe. Mm -hmm. Every quarter, my company does this thing where we get a few days to learn whatever we want to and spend our working hours picking up a new skill. So I thought this was like the perfect opportunity for me to put some time into learning Blender. Blender is this 3D animation software. It is free to download. I'll put a link in the description of the video if you're interested, but I just see so many people making like these really beautiful illustrations or like rooms in 3D in Blender and it was something Thing that I've just wanted to do for pretty much the entire year, but I've always just found excuses to not put in that effort. If you're a UX designer or if you're looking to move into a UX design position, you don't have to learn Blender. Like no one's going to hopefully ask you to create 3D illustrations. Like that's not a UX designer's job, but it is something that I want to improve at and just sounds like a lot of fun and it's a skill I want to build. So I am going to spend today doing that. I have a tutorial pulled up on YouTube. It looks like manageable to me, but I really don't know. So we're going to work through that together today. Each other's playlists 
Oh, cute. If you're wondering why I'm not just using my second monitor to like watch the tutorial and I'm going back and forth like closing and opening the window, it's because I can't see the screen, like all the little actions and stuff when on this side. So that's why I just have to do that. And maybe we could try it next week. Yeah, I got stitchers this week. I mean, I just finished my little sushi tutorial in Blender and I am so happy with how it turned out. The tutorial was... I think it was really good because I wouldn't say it was easy. It's just like very manageable if you slow down and pay a lot of attention to what's happening on the screen and like following the tutorial really closely. I mean, it always feels good like when you learn something new and it succeeds and like you're happy and like it pushes you to want to do more. So yeah, that I, I think I'm just gonna like try to find more tutorials and keep working on them. And I'll show you guys how my Blender progress ends up turning out. So I think I'm also going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching a week in my life. And yeah, <laughs> thank you for watching as always. I never know how to end these and I've been doing YouTube for like three years. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. We together, me and you forever.